Las Vegas Fire and Rescue will be out in the community again this year, trying to protect residents from, well, themselves. Injuries, loss of limb, devastating fires, and even deaths occur every year due to the use of illegal fireworks. And as you can see from this video from previous years here in Las Vegas, their work is cut out for them. Too many people purchase what are, quite frankly, powerful explosives. So on June 20th, Las Vegas Fire and Rescue, along with the Red Cross of Southern Nevada, held what has become an annual event, a press conference, warning of the consequences of not following the rules. Rules in place for a good reason. On Saturday, we actually had a fire in a home that was caused by uh, fireworks being used illegally before the date of June 28th. It caught the tree on fire and subsequently it traveled very quickly to the home. Um, our crews responded and they were able to rescue the family as well as two pets out of the home and extinguish the fire before it spread out of the attic space. And as they do each year, demonstrations are performed showing how powerful illegal fireworks can be. So let's go over those rules again, starting with you can never shoot off illegal fireworks and shooting off even the safe and sane fireworks has a window. The only time that you can legally use fireworks safe and sane in Clark County is between June 28th and until July 4th. So at 12.01 a.m. on July 5th, they become illegal again. So you're not allowed to use fireworks outside of that time frame. How do you know if they're safe and sane? The best way to ensure that they aren't illegal is to buy them from a local vendor that are authorized to sell safe and sane fireworks. Las Vegas Fire and Rescue inspects every single firework booth in its jurisdiction to make sure that all they are selling is safe and sane. Any fireworks that explode or leave the ground are not considered safe and sane and they are illegal in um, the city of Las Vegas and Clark County. Did you know you must be 16 years of age or older to purchase fireworks? And yes, vendors are required to check IDs. And by the way, don't think you can beat the system by constructing your own homemade explosives. Combining or altering fireworks in any way, that includes taping them together, um, combining one into another, that actually becomes a federal offense and the ATF can possibly get involved because those are considered improvised explosive devices in our county. Once you have your safe and sane fireworks, still use caution and good judgment when setting them off. They should be used on a flat, firm surface like the ground or a driveway. Make sure you're staying far away from homes, vehicles, bushes, trees, anything that can catch on fire. It's important to always have a bucket of water or a garden hose next to you when you're using fireworks um, because you never know if they are going to move or travel. Um, and so you want to be able to use that in case of a fire. After they've been used, dispose of the remains with a shovel into a bucket of water. Fire department recommends soaking overnight. Do you want to report illegal fireworks in your neighborhood? Do not use 311 or 911 to report illegal fireworks use. If you would like to report people using illegal fireworks, you can go on the website ispyfireworks.com to report them. Each year, the neighborhoods with the most complaints from the previous year are the areas where enforcement is concentrated. Fire inspectors with LVFR are going to be out and about in the community doing enforcement and ensuring our uh, neighborhoods are safe this 4th of July weekend. Nancy Byrne here. I hope you enjoyed that story. For more great stories about the city of Las Vegas, don't forget to click on that box.